You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports 2. Well, we did not make a video when the initial news broke yesterday that formerly New England Patriot, Houston Texan, and Baltimore Raven quarterback Ryan Mellett had tragically died in a drowning down in Florida. Uh, he was, believe it or not, at one time, he was going to be the heir apparent. They thought back in 2012 that he would develop behind the scenes into the heir apparent for one Tom Brady in New England. The Patriots did issue a statement. It's sad. He was 35 years old. He would, he was one of those guys, Ryan Mallett was a great college quarterback, really was. And one of those guys that you thought he had the size, he had the arm, the completion percentage just never worked out for Ryan Mallett, unfortunately, and now is death. Well, a couple of things have happened here in light of that. Florida Sheriff has come out and made some comments saying beachgoers just did not listen. They issued warning. They begged beachgoers not to get in the water. It was dangerous. So he has come out and made some comments about that. And former Red Sox player, a good wet Red Sox player, Will Middlebrooks, has made a statement about Ryan Mallett. Ryan Mallett was his best friend. I didn't know that. I'm going to be real. Uh, so let's, let's do the sheriff first. And the sheriff did not hold back. And I'm sure the sheriff is pissed. They're pissed. He's pissed as a sheriff and his deputies are pissed because they tried to prevent this from happening. And beachgoers just did not listen. They did not follow orders. A Florida sheriff, this is Fox News, expressed his frustrations with beachgoers ignoring warning signs about dangerous waters days before former NFL quarterback Ryan Mallett died in an apparent drowning. Mallett drowned in the waters near Destin. Delta Plex News in Arkansas first reported Tuesday. Bay County Sheriff Tommy Ford warned those going to the beach to be careful after a recent spat of drowning deaths, which he said put first responders at risk. Bay County is near uh, Okaloosa County, where Destin is located, and both counties sit along the Gulf of Mexico. Quote, I'm beyond frustrated at the situation that we have with tragic and unnecessary deaths in the Gulf, Ford wrote on Facebook Sunday. Quote, I have watched while deputies, firefighters, and lifeguards have risked their lives to save strangers. And I have seen strangers die trying to save their children and loved ones, including two fathers on Father's Day. Quote, these same heroes who have risked it all to save lives have been cursed and given the finger while trying to warn visitors of life-threatening dangers. In other words, the beachgoers have cursed out the first responders and the people trying to warn the people about getting in the water. Wow. We have used the tools provided by the county commission to fine violators $500 for entering the water on double red flags. We don't have the resources or the time to cite every single person that enters the water, but we do our absolute best to use it as a deterrent to entering the water. An arrest is only authorized upon a second offense unless the individual resists law enforcement. Ford also warned those traveling to the beach on Tuesday, quote, use every caution every time you go into the Gulf. Today is a bit rough, so especially be especially careful. We'll be out on the sand doing our best to keep you safe, visitors and residents alike. According to the New York Post, Panama Beach has seen seven drowning deaths in June alone, which made it the deadliest beach this year, according to USA Today, about 60 people have died from drowning in the U.S. this year alone. Rip currents are channelized currents of water that flow along from the shore at surf 
beaches. They typically form in sandbars and also near structures such as jetties or piers. Wow. Wow. Mallet went under and lifeguard said he was not breathing when he was pulled out. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Mallet was a coach. My understanding is he was the head coach in Whitehall, Arkansas. Quote, it is with great sadness that we share the loss of Coach Ryan Mallett. The school district wrote on its website, Coach Mallett was beloved. Coach and educator, we ask that you remember his family, team, students, fellow coaches, and the Whitehall School District staff in your prayers. The NFL did put out a statement. The NFL is deeply saddened by the passing of Ryan Mallett. Our thoughts are with his family and loved ones. Now, let's get to the Patriots. He was a third round at 2011 draft. Patriots are deeply saddened to learn the sudden and unexpected passing of former quarterback Ryan Mallett. So, that came out, and then Will uh, Middlebrooks made this comment, and I did not know that him and Ryan Mallett were from just about an hour and 45 minutes from me. I did not know they were East Texas boys. I did not know that, which is wild. I had no clue. But Texarkana is not very far from me. Middlebrooks was longtime friends with Mallet, who died Tuesday in Florida at 35 due to an apparent drowning. The two met as teenagers in Texarkana, Texas, attended the same high school where they both played on the football team. Mallet went on to play quarterback in the NFL for seven seasons. Middlebrooks put together a six-year Major League Baseball career. Both of their playing days in, included stops in the New England area. As Malik kick-started his career with the Patriots, and Middlebrooks broke into the big league scene with the Red Sox. Wow. Not long after the news of Malik's death broke, Middlebrooks, now a Nesson Red Sox analyst, took to Twitter to share a heartfelt goodbye. And let's just look at it right here. Uh, because I think, yep, look at that. Wow. Wow, there they are together right there. At a wedding. You could tell Ryan Mallett, he's tall as hell. That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. And there they are right there when Mallet was part of the Part of the Pats. So, and a lot of people, uh, Pat McAfee, Robert Griffin III, both commented on this. Ben Verlander, among others. Wow, Lawrence Tynes. So, that's that's pretty sad, and it's wild. It's it's even sadder and more wild that the sheriff is... You can tell the sheriff feels terrible. But he come out and said... They can't seem to get people to heed the warnings that sh- that sheriff's department, they have done all they can to try to avoid things like this, you know, like Ryan Mallett losing his life, drowning. Wow. I don't know what else they can do. I mean, you hate to close a beach. That's, that's you know, these towns like that, the beach and tourism is what drives these towns and are the lifebloods of these areas in certain times of the year. I mean, no shit. You know, not to bring up Jaws, but in part, you know, they tried to shut the beaches down in the movie Jaws and they didn't want to do it because of loss of income to that small New England town. Kind of the same kind of thing here, you know? And people are trying to have a good time. They get mad at the sheriffs and the deputies. There's no point in that. Wow, that sucks. You know, that sucks that you feel like, and you can tell the sheriff, he's like, we've done all we can here. And, you know, it's it's tragic. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.